Okay, my name is Mr. Chiafalo. I'm one of the counselors here. I'm gonna walk you through your registration process uh, for picking your classes for next year. You should have received a recommendation form. You're gonna bring that around to all of your teachers to get your recommendations for your core classes. But you should also have a white elective sheet that looks like this. Now the first thing that you must do, the most important thing is please put your name and your alpha code on there so we know who you are and we can make sure to give you the right classes that you want. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna look through your elective choices. They're on both sides. You're gonna number them one through six, one being the class you want the most, six being the class you want the least, but we'll still be super happy when it ends up on your schedule next year. Um, if you are in a foreign language, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go ahead and select the second level of that language. If not, and you want to take a foreign language next year, um, you're gonna to wanna to put down your foreign language choice as one of your first two choices. If you are a current sophomore and are gonna be a junior, you will definitely get one of the um, foreign language choices if you put it down. Otherwise, if you wanna increase your chances, um, French and Spanish are our most uh, popular languages. If you'd like to increase your chances of getting a foreign language, we also have German and Latin. If you're gonna choose a PE, PEs are only half credits, so you need to choose two PEs for, um, for, a, for the same number choice. So for example, if you wanted to take weightlifting and you wanted to do that all year long next year, you would have to put weightlifting down as both uh, weightlifting one and two as the same number choice. So if you wanted that to be your second choice, then you would put them both down for number two. Um, those are pretty much our only uh, half credit electives. Um, we do have some AP electives written on here, but those are gonna be considered um, with teacher recommendation and with your test scores. So um, that's basically it. You're just gonna go through, you're gonna choose six choices. Hopefully you like them all because at least one of them will end up on your schedule next year. Thank you and have a good day.